All right, so my nightly routine is basically when I come home, I don't have anywhere else to go, of course. Then I come home and I take this bad boy off. And then I will do my moisturizing routine. Basically, if my hair is looking like this, like it is now, and the curls are still pretty fresh, I will just slip my bonnet on and go to bed like this and wake up in the morning so I don't have to mess with my hair. Um, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you guys what I do before I go to bed. Alright, so I just put my little Bantu knots in and really quick, um, that's one great thing actually I love about wearing these wigs is that I'm able to get to my hair whenever I want to. So I'm able to put my moisturizers and growth aids and treatments on my hair anytime I want without having to worry about tracks or whether my uh, the extensions hair is going to get oily or weighed down or dirty from putting the products on. Um, and also I can check my hair to see if it feels like something's wrong, if it needs anything, if I feel like it's dry or there might be some breakage, then instead of having to worry about, oh my gosh, I don't want to take this weed down because it's going to take forever to put it back in or I just paid so much money to get it done. I'm able to just take that wig off and check my hair. If I need to take the braids down and treat my hair, I can. And it's as simple as putting my hair back in these braids and putting the wig on, or even if I don't want to, I can just put it in like two braids in the back and wrap it up. And so it gives me access to my hair, which I didn't have before. If I would have had that before, I might have been able to catch all of the breakage I was having sooner and take care of it. So on to the next thing. What I will do if my hair needs to be moisturized, today it's doing pretty good, doesn't need to be moisturized, but what I would do at night, I would put my moisturizer on my braids and then seal with my shea butter, wrap it up like so. So I just wrap it up like this. And then I put my silk bonnet on. And I always sleep in a silk wrap. And I sleep on a silk pillowcase because the silk kind of helps your hair retain moisture. It doesn't wick moisture away from your hair like cotton does. And the silk pillowcase is just in case um, I'm just dead tired and I fall asleep without putting the wrap on my head. It serves the same purpose as wearing this silk cap. And by the way, this cap, sorry, let me show you, is a pretty wrap, which I think this is the best silk cap ever created. It's pretty wrap. It's 100% silk. Their website is prettywrap.com. And let me show you why I love it. It slips on. See? Like a bonnet. It just slips right on. But it also has a scarf. It's like connected in the front. And so I tie it on and everything is silk. The elastic is covered in silk. It's not putting any tension on my edges at all. None. So I'm not getting that breakage on my edges. And then I just tie it up. And this does not come off. You see that? It's on there securely. And because it's a bonnet, everything's encased. And because it has the tie, it holds it in place. But this doesn't come off at all. It doesn't matter if I'm sleeping bug wild or whatever. It doesn't come off. So this is it. This is what I do at night. I wake up in the morning, take this off. Uh, I just slide the stocking back. Uh, if it's the day that I use my growth aid, then I'll put my sulfur and megatech mixture on and then put the nylon cap back on. But otherwise, I just slide the cap back over my hair that's left out and slip my wig on, undo the bantu knots, and tuck and go. So now I'm going to show you guys how I wash my hair. I wash my hair um, after, after I braid it. I use the deep conditioner. It doesn't need to be moisturized for at least a week to a week and a half. So I don't wet my hair uh, at, in between time. In between, I don't wet my hair from that point until it's time to moisturize again. When I do feel that it's time to add more moisture to my hair, that's when I'm going to wash it. Uh, sometimes I'll use my Cowboy Magic Rose Water Shampoo. Sometimes I don't use anything. I'll just use water. 
Uh, sometimes I just use conditioner. I'll use the Cowboy Magic Rose Water Conditioner because it's kind of a clarifying type of conditioner. Uh, so that's what I do and I'm going to show you guys what I do when I wash it. I like my braids to stay neat, which means not have all that frizzy stuff hanging on. And so far I'm doing pretty good. So far. For, yeah. But it's, this is my first time watching for this month, so I guess that's pointless, right? Um, so yeah, this is what I do. I take my leave out, and right now it's twisted, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take it and two strand each section really fast. I do these twists pretty loose. I mean, they don't need to be tight or neat. And I flip them back. And I'm going to slap this cap on just like this with the braids hanging out in the back like so. If I, when I have just my one braid that's hanging out, then I'll tuck it into the cap. I even tuck these in. Okay, so I've got this cap on. It's holding the braids now. So what I do is... I hop in the shower to wash my hair and I let the water run on top of this cap and I'll rub it in, you know, massage it. it. This is the good part about this cap. It's so thin you can do everything with it on. And so I'll do all my little massages with the cap on, even this part. And if I really want to get this part, I'll just pull it through. But it's not necessary. It gets clean under the cap. And then I take my shampoo or conditioner and I'll rub it in my hands and just smack it on the cap like this and rub it in and then get under the running water and rinse it out really good and when I'm rinsing I'm also rubbing and what I do when I get out I'll blow it with a towel and let it dry with this cap on. It holds your hair down in place so that when it dries it doesn't frizz up and get really big and because that can cause breakage especially in a cap if you're wearing your wig or whatever I mean I just get bad vibes about those little hairs that are sticking up especially with hair that's as fine as mine I just I'm scared it's gonna break so that's it that's how I wash it I'll come back and show you guys how it looks after it's washed and dried so you'll understand why I do do it in this cap okay you guys I'm all dry after I um, I conditioner washed my braids uh, in the shower and I used the Cowboy Magic Rose Water Conditioner. I just pulled these out while it was drying, but I dried with my cap on. I'm going to pull it off and show you guys the reason why I use it. And you can see the braids. Let's not leave out. The braids are still pretty neat. So when I try to wash it without that cap on, I have this massive frizz coming out of my braid. So you can see they're still pretty neat. And then at this point, separate my hair. And you'll see that my leave out is really manageable because I had it in twists while I co-washed it and had it under that cap. So detangling is not an issue. Wham, bam, boom. And it's nice and soft, ready to apply my moisturizer and my shea butter and put it in Bantu knots for blending. And that's it. And after I, after it's all dry and I co-wash, that's when um, I break out my moisturizer and it's still a little damp, which is actually a good thing. I put the moisturizer on while it's still a little damp and then seal it with the shea butter. And that's it. That's how I care for my braids underneath my wig. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message. And don't forget to rate this video. I love when you guys rate my videos. Uh, leave comments, like. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, hey. Um, yeah, and that's it.